guys? Welcome back to The Riff. Uh, today I bring to you a pretty cool acquisition. This is a 1959 Fender Music Master. Um, note the really wild uh, desert sand color used as an undercoat for many of the Fender custom, Fender custom color guitars. Um, and this is, from what I was told, I didn't get a chance to open it up. This is a 100% original complete item. Um, really, really versatile guitars, and these were considered student guitars, much like the Gibson Les Paul Juniors. Um, and these pack a punch. This is a phenomenal sounding pickup here. It is a black bobbin pickup. Uh, it's flat pole, uh, a little different from a Stratocaster pickup where the poles would be raised. But this has plenty of crunch. You just have one tone knob, one volume. It's a simple guitar. Uh, 1959, it has the slim 59 neck shape, Brazilian rosewood, and it's really, really cool. I've always wanted one of these to add to my collection, and this one was a deal that I couldn't pass up. Um, you've got to hear some tones off of it. The bridge is very reminiscent of what a Telecaster would be, or a jazz bass in a way. And it's just really, really cool and really versatile, really simple, thin body, all original. And um, I'm going to pop the strings off. I just got it. These are the strings that came with it. I'm going to pop the strings off with you guys, and we're going to check it out, have a look under the hood, and see what a 60-year-old guitar looks like. So stay tuned. One thing that is also really cool to mention about this guitar is it came with the factory case. And it's like a vinyl-type feel. Really cool, really great shape. Um, this latch uh, doesn't have the spring action, but the other one does, and the center one works great. And you open it up, it's just got that cool orange poly material. And it's just really great to have as a complete item. You know, I was really uh, excited about this because it, it was all complete, you know. And we're going to open it up and find out for sure right now. All right, so like I said, we're just going to pop the strings off of it really quick. And this is the first time I have looked underneath this. The great thing about these uh, so-called, you know, the uh, quote-unquote student guitars is they are they have become very iconic and very desirable. And something like the Les Paul Jr. that was considered a student guitar is one of the most iconic guitars used in rock and blues and, and you know, guitar playing history. And these are quite affordable, you know, in a relative vintage market. And they're great to use as kind of like buffers to get into the vintage market if you want to start buying vintage guitars and you can really validate your knowledge and you know, get into the vintage craze or the old guitar craze by picking yourself up, you know, a lesser, say a lesser desirable, you know, guitar. But these are really, really uh, fun and really, you know, like I said, that, that pickup sounds amazing. And uh, I'm going to get the pickguard screws off and get you guys in a little closer here. Even, you know, the vintage screws the head on the screw had a different kind of dimple in it and I can already tell that these are all the original ones um, I don't have a new newer screw to compare it to but if you look off the camera will pick it up but if you look on the edges of that screw there is a little dimple there and uh, you know that's just what the old ones had I'm excited to pop this open um, from, you know, the things that I've learned, the things that I've researched, there should be a big yellow Astron cap. Um, maybe, I think it's a .022. We should have some stack pole potentiometers. There should be a pot code on there, and I will be able to research all of that. And a single black bobbin pickup. I'm hoping to open it up and find something, you know, just really cool, something historic, some kind of Ameri Americana. I just love this stuff, and, um, you know, I guess uh, we'll open this up. All right, so here it is. The 59 Music Master opened up. Boom. Really, really cool. So this scratch plate, um, if this was a Duo Sonic and it had two pickups, this, this hole would have been for the... Three -way, uh, the three-way switch for the pickups. And that would have been, that cutout would have been for the other pickup. Yeah, there it is. 
the big Astron cap. The pots there, the pot codes on them. The 916, that would be the 16th week of 59, so it's an early 59. And that's just really, really cool. You got your black bobbin pickup, wax potted. I'm also using uh, kind of a new camera microphone setup, so bear with me if it's not you know the best video. I'm just trying some different stuff here. But that's really great to check out. It's all original in there. You get that great desert sand paint. Looks like we have a little bit of a pencil mark in there. We have a pencil mark in there. Maybe that's a four. I'm not sure. Um, I spoke to a few people about these, and there won't be a body date, but there is a router mark, which is cool. There's another router mark. Some wood in the cavity. That's just really, really great. Uh, I'm not going to take the neck off, only because I know it's a 59, and there more than likely will not be a neck date on there. Uh, but I can tell from the shape of the neck, the way the finish has worn on the back of the neck and where the truss rod is sitting, that it is indeed a 1959 neck with the original frets, clay dots. Look at that grain in there. It's pretty heavy. Another cool thing about uh, collecting a bunch of pre-CBS parts is I have things like other neck plates that I can match up and not only for the size and the shape but to also check the font and you know verify that that three and that three look pretty similar a lot of times you'll see these uh, repops come along and you know they're fake and they're really good but they're fakes so this is just something that's good to have some spare parts so another great way of authenticating these are the tuners <clears throat> also too when I spoke about not removing the neck there is a jig hole so this hole was open at one point before the guitar was finished and they would use this hole and another one in the heel and press that into a, a bench and do their work and the neck wouldn't move while they did their work and then they were just filled in afterwards pretty crafty So we got the tuner out. You can see the D stamp patent number authenticates it. And that's really, really great to see. Yeah, but it's uh, safe to say that the entire guitar is original. You can tell that no other tuners have been on there. Really, really clean set of tuners as well. So there you go guys, there's a little peek inside a 60 year old Fender student guitar. And like I said, these things are quite affordable and really collectible. They have great tone, they're assembled the same way your iconic Stratocaster and Telecaster was. Um, a lot of the same components. Um, it's just a, a little different, more affordable variation for back then. This 1959 Fender Music Master is really cool, it is 100% original, now in my collection. One more to add to the 59 era fender. I think with this, all I'm really going to do is, uh, you know, clean up the pots. I'm going to oil up the fretboard because it's quite dry. I'm going to try to polish the frets and get a little life out of them. And I'm just going to use this as a guitar around the house and play with it and have fun. Um, it's a really cool item. And like I said, I was really happy to add it to my collection because it is all original. came with the original case. The gentleman that I purchased it from was really great to deal with and he gave me a phenomenal deal. So there you go. Check it out. You can check these out too, and if you guys want to get into the vintage thing, this is a start. You know, they're quite affordable, they're fun, they got great tone, they got everything you need. Play this for a little while, put some miles on it, know what you're looking for, study them, and then go buy yourself that more expensive, or maybe you want a mint collector strat or a mint collector telecaster or a jazz master. <laughs> to get into the uh, vintage guitar thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've got a couple more coming up this weekend. Peace!